Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 Amherst Model Train Show. My name is Mark Williams. I'm the category manager for Athern Trains. With me is John Stackpole, our lead developer, and Jim Wigan, our associate brand manager. I'm going to have these guys run you through some of the new product offerings and some of the new items that uh, we're working on as the Athern team. Take it away, John. Sure. First big announcement is we are offering an Athern Genesis in both HO scale and N scale the new Versa coil from Freight Car America, originally from Johnstone American Corporation. We're really excited to offer uh, the first two phases of these cars. Phase one is going to be the Canadian Pacific. Phase two, we have the Northwest Oklahoma Railroad, Mitsubishi Rail, and the Norfolk Southern. We also plan on offering phase three and phase four cars, which are more Norfolk Southern, more CSX, and a few more road names uh, as they continue to be built, because these are very modern, being built right now. Great for steel industries, coil cars. Available both the HO and M. From an announcement yesterday, we have the FMC 5347. This is a completely retooled, dimensionally accurate boxcar. We've corrected the dimensions on it, upgraded the details, lots of underbody details, separately applied uh, grab irons and ladders, cages. Some of the items that most people don't know that we've worked on, we've upgraded the 52-foot mill gondola, so the last order of these are actually going to be delivered with this up upgraded body, where we corrected some details and dimensions, added a lot of detail, top core detail, end plate detail, coupler cut lever, mounting plates. So you can take your basic Athern car, and if you want to add the details yourself, bring it up a notch very, very easily, or it's just a nice looking car at the Athern price point. We also needed to work on our old Athern F unit from the uh, Roundhouse line. So this is completely new tooling, new design of the uh, Athern Roundhouse F7. Uh, we're offering both the single and the double headlight version, but we've corrected the nose profile, the windshields, pilot. We removed cast iron grab irons and left dimples so that if you want to upgrade it yourself, you can add grab irons and handrails. There's dimples on the roof for lift rings. We've added hardwired connections from the trucks to the motherboard, so you have all eight wheel pickup. The motherboard is a 21 pin compatible motherboard. We've corrected the chassis and actually moved the couplers in, so we're getting closer coupling. But the whole purpose of this uh, locomotive, besides all the refinement and detail, like grills and exhaust acts, is to offer that entry level locomotive for folks just getting into the hobby, but want a, a durable, good looking model, and for those who want to practice their modeling skill, so they're not starting off with the premium Athern Genesis F units. And the last product, which we haven't announced for sale yet, pre ordered yet, is the uh, Singamas and Dong Fang 60 foot high cube containers. We have samples here of that, beautifully decorated. They have photo etched warning placards, separately applied um, door closures on there. They're going to be very unique for container trains. That's the extent of our new product. We also are showing our Long Island Railroad EP15, which is about to uh, be delivered to our warehouse, along with a lot of product in our booth that is currently available for sale. Okay, so what we got here, this is the Ather Genesis acid tank cars. This was our first end scale Genesis model. This is going to have pretty much all the same details that the HO scale version is going to have. For the first time in end scale, this is going to have shelf couplers. It's also going to have cut levers and air hoses, plus all of that brake detail, all of that wire detail that you see on the prototype, it's here in end scale. We announced these back in May of 2022. They should be out in mid to late summer. This is our uh, one of our prototype samples, and you can see how much detail this has. Now, again, this is N scale. So what we've got here, these are the Athern Genesis HO scale ICC cabooses, starting what you're seeing here, the CSX, the BNO Chessie, and of course the BNO. Um, these are the C26A ICC cabooses. These are available with both lights or lights and sound. They have a decoder in them so you can maximize your uh, 
prototype operations with these cars. There's full scale fidelity on these cars. Operating lights, like I was saying, operating marker lights. And we've also got the HO scale Union Pacific CA9s and CA8 cabooses, both in the early and the late body style. You can see here we've got uh, these available with lights, or you can opt to get these with a decoder so you have both light and sound. These are hitting train world right now. So if you need one of these for your prototype operations, whether you're out west doing Union Pacific operations or you're out east doing uh, CSX, Chessie, uh, Baltimore, Ohio, uh, these are hitting store shelves right now. So as always, check out Train World and go ahead and make your order today. We also have some samples of the 50th anniversary P42s from Antrac. Uh, these are the samples that I had on my desk. All versions of these are going to be coming uh, very soon, very shortly. And we're very excited about these in the Athern Genesis line. Definitely the premium P42 offering. Greetings everybody from a very busy, very noisy Amherst train show up here in Springfield with my buddy Ken from Train World TV. And I uh, just wanted to give you a sneak preview of the Lionel booth. And uh, of course we'll be back on Train World here in just a, another week or so to go over our Volume 1 catalog offerings and all the great things that are in there right before the order window closes. So as you're on your final couple of days here, weeks of deciding what you'd like from C1, a few more opportunities to have some questions answered for you. Of course we've got one of our stars in the new catalog here, our Vision Big Boy. Production for the sample, but all the details and everything are there are correct. Lots of great new features on this. Of course, we're bringing back the breathing pole load, uh, the three speaker sound system, lots of different smoke units on here. We've got staff, whistle, safety valve, and blow down scheme. We've got the force coupler added for the first time on the big boy. And I think one of the newest things too is four digit addressing as well. These are have been a hot item so far for us in pre orders. Looking forward to bringing the big boy back again in 2023. We've got our layout set up here as well with a, a variety of accessories. Uh, a lot of new, fun new accessories coming here. The burning houses, burning buildings. We've got our HO burning kit here on display. We'll have an HO announcement coming early in March for the HO fans out there. So we'll be back with train for, for more of that too. Lots of great light-up buildings and accessories. We even have a prototype here of the Billups Crossing, which is going to be a really fun accessory for uh, a lot of layouts. All right, here we have some of our great steam locomotives, the recently delivered Vision Line Class A. Uh, NW 1200, the, from Volume 2, the Brass Hybrid Challengers, and the earlier UC 3800, 3700 Series Challengers. Also from the last catalog, an EP sample of our Greenbrier, a uh, beautiful locomotive. This is a, an EP sample, uh, engineering prototype. We'll be using to do all the code work, but you can see from all the unfinished uh, model here how, how much extra details apply to these. And then here, uh, towards the bottom, we have a sample of our brass hybrid uh, Baldwin 210. Most people know her as Strasburg 90 or Great Western 90. Uh, these will be delivering sometime later this year. Uh, we're making a few small production changes to, and improvements before delivery, so it'll be a slight, slightly longer delay on those, but they will be coming this year for sure. And on the very bottom of the shelf there, of course, you see the great splash of color from the Aberdeen Caroline, Carolina and Western, which is one of our local short lines. Uh, and just one of the most beautiful paint schemes on passenger trains we've seen. And there's some great new items for that railroad in the Volume 1 catalog as well. One more highlight from our recent delivery is our Rocket Booster set. This is absolutely one of the biggest sets we've ever made. I think it's 13 cars in total. Uh, just a whopper of a set. You're going to need help getting this one uh, in the house for sure. We've got about half of the train shown here, including the, the clearance car, the various rocket suction cars, each of which has a removable hatch and a load inside that can be taken off the flat car 
to put together to assemble a 30 inch tall rug with a between each and a passenger car at the end. Hey everyone, this is Jordan Smith from Rapido Trains Inc. and I've got uh, Bill Schneider over here. And we're here at uh, the Rapido booth at the Big E, uh, our first uh, railroad show. And we've got a few interesting models that we uh, think you'll be interested in. First off, we've got our latest batch of E8 models, which are actually, uh, they're shipping, uh, should be shipping right now, in there to the dealers uh, this week or next week. We've got our Canadian versions. We've got CP Rail, uh, the original CP in the maroon and Via. We also have uh, the last batch of our uh, regular batch of our American roads. So we've got uh, CB and Q, Erie Lackawanna. We have New York Central in the cigar band uh, scheme. I'm saying that right, I think. And also Amtrak in Phase One. So those will be shipping in, the, like I said, in the next couple of weeks, and we'll be, uh, be on the train world shelf very soon. So also very exciting this week. We have a new diesel locomotive announcement, and that is the General Electric 44-ton uh, center caps. We have three different phases, and uh, why don't I bring Bill in, and he can tell you a little more, a little more about this. Hey, Bill. So these are our new 44-tonner uh, HO scale locomotives. These are actually first test shots. They just arrived this week. Um, very excited about this. We're doing three different phases, three different body styles. Uh, the phase one, which is the early style that has the blank ends and the radiators on the side. Phase three, which has the, the radiator on the end, but with uh, opening hatches on the roof. And the phase four, which has uh, the radiator on the end, but it's a ventilator trough on the roof. We can show you close-ups of all of those. Uh, we're doing a number of different uh, paint schemes on these. We're also doing a custom Long Island Railroad one for Train Road, which you can only get through them. So we're excited to work with them on that finally. And the uh, response has been tremendous this weekend. It's been great. So also arriving later this spring are the, uh, the Heartland Hobby exclusive uh, E8s as well. And uh, of course, these are available from Train World. You can see we have uh, Milwaukee Road. We have Southern in the black tuxedo scheme. We have, this is the uh, just the single Keystone PRR versions. Wabash in the, in the, uh, the Bluebird scheme there. The unique Jade Green New York Central E8s. Erie, as well as Rock Island in the Rocket Scheme. And as I mentioned, uh, these should be arriving at stores and in Train World in the next uh, probably, probably two to three months. From now. Get your orders while they last. Of course, you've got my personal favorite here, the Turboliners in HO scale. We've got our production samples on display here. We've got the original phase, uh, uh, original phase three or phase one, depending on what you want to call it. That's uh, from the 1976 delivery. We've got the later 1980s uh, repaints with the black roof. The phase five repaints, as well as the X2000 <laughs> demonstrator at the far end. There. These will be arriving later this spring. Another exciting HO scale model that we have shipping right now to Train World is the new HO scale X3 tank cars. Everyone talks about all the fancy schemes that you see on a lot of box cars, but if you want probably one of the more typical tank cars of the uh, 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, the X3 is the car for you. They built tens of thousands of these, and uh, we got lots of different road names and numbers. As I mentioned, these are shipping uh, to Train World right now, so make sure you get them while they last. We think uh, these are going to be a really popular car. Hey everyone, Matt from Atlas here. Got some exciting new HO and N scale products to show you. Behind me, we got a little uh, test shot of the MP36s. These are slated to arrive in May, early first, second quarter of this year. Same story with our Metro passenger cars. These are also uh, April May delivery. So hopefully we get both these same time arrival for you guys. Really excited about these cars. Later on, I'm going to show you a lit one on the layout. We'll move over here. This is uh, what a lot of people are waiting for the HS scale T box. So we have our first decorated sample. Really nice printing on these. Awesome. These are the, by far the most common modern box car. Everybody's going to need one of these for their layout. These are actually uh, coming in in a few weeks. They're on the water now in a container. So the long-awaited tea boxes are finally arriving. To go along with our tea box, we have the BMSF version, with the single plug door, as well as without the waffle sides. So this adds a nice variation for all you modern freight guys out there. And 
another exciting new arrival are the U28Cs. And we see the Ashcan emergency light up top here, specific for Southern Pacific, as well as the Southern Pacific Bell in the back, as well as a gyro light on the nose. So SP modelers have a really pro, like, road specific model now for their U28Cs. So we have acquired the Point St. Charles caboose from True Line Trains. We're really excited about this acquisition. I know our Canadian modelers, even guys in the Midwest, anywhere where CN roams, they want this caboose. And this is a whole for detail caboose. Everybody loves this thing. So, probably going to make an announcement. I'd say maybe our next catalog or summer catalog. We'll have some paint schemes for you to pre-order. So we just want to tell everybody we have it. We're really excited about it, as well as the mini box. So for all our Canadian friends, can't get enough mini boxes. And all right, I got some brand new HO viaducts for you guys. Single track, double track. We have the cut stone model here. We also have a concrete variation as well as a rough cut stone. These are, we're taking orders on them now, our new catalog, our winter all HO and N scale catalog. You'll find it in there. We have screen production shots of the concrete one. I know this one's very popular. And uh, we're really, really proud to have these because there's no North American specific viaducts out there. Everything's very European. So we're excited to bring these models out to the market. Hey, what well, we got? The Thrall all door boxcars here. He's just arrived in the Atlas Warehouse here with dealers now. Some really cool cars. We got the positionable doors. The prototypical schemes. This is also available in two rail for the first time for you two rail guys out there. As well as the F40PHs are arriving. So we got New Jersey Transit and the scheme where they just got their lights. Really beautiful model. That 40 pH is always everyone's favorite. The Ryzen cars, that Ryzen common cars that will pair with these, they're coming later this year. I would say around November, we're expecting those. So grab your F40 pHs, get the common cars to go with them. We also have a snow pile. They just came in. They're in the warehouse now. Here's a CN model. The operating wings. Really cool model. So you can push that snow off the rails. As well as the scale test cars. These things are heavy, all die casts. Very cool graphics. Look good in your any like service facility or yard you have. You're gonna want to throw one of these in there. And those are our Atlas O arrivals. Hey guys, check out our new MP15s now with ditch lights. These ditch lights are super bright, awesome, prototypical, look gorgeous. Got plenty of these in stock. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. We got the HO Type 8500 cat car here. We can see all the 75 details on the end here. What you do? Yeah. My ACs lights are obviously seeing the new MP15s. Showing off the new Atlas Collector Series locomotives. So these are based with alternative history locomotives. These are plausible things Santa Fe could have done. So the first locomotive we have here is the yellow bonnet, and we have the blue bonnet down here. These are based off the 70s freight scheme Santa Fe on their, on their F units. So it's, it's a hypothetical because when Santa Fe brought these units back in the 90s, they could have possibly done these schemes. On the next stage, we have the BN Bicentennial Hopper. Burlington Northern came their fleet of hoppers that they got from Great Northern at the same time as the Bicentennial Celebrations. So it's a possibility that they decided to maybe wanted to paint one of the Bicentennial scheme. So that's how we came up with these ideas. They're really neat things for collectors or Santa Fe operators or Burlington Northern operators. If you model these railroads or these errors, 
really cool locomotives and copper to add to their layout. So what do you want me to do? Just talk? Hey, this is Rich Foster with MTH Electric Trains. We're back at the Big E train show for the first time in a few years, and it's great to be here, great crowds. Uh, MTH is still alive and kicking. For those of you who didn't know, uh, go to our homepage, sign up for our e-newsletter, and after you're done that, click on the news tab, and you'll see a bunch of announcements we've been making over the last many, many months. A lot of custom runs as well. Train World is doing a lot of custom runs as well. Go to their website and they'll let you know. And uh, it's great to be back in the game. So we're looking forward to keep making trains and contact us, let us know what you want to see. And uh, look forward to hearing from you. Hey, this is Matt from Bachman. We're here at the Amherst Train Show and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about our uh, new products that we have here. So uh, right behind me here, these are our new large-scale Dash 9s. These things have been in the works for a while. We announced them, I believe, back in 2019. And uh, these, uh, these are our uh, final paint samples and we're uh, just about ready. They're on the water now. So the paint schemes that we have for this are Union Pacific, Santa Fe, BNSF, CSX and Orbit Southern. We have two road numbers for each of these train schemes. So these models are equipped to uh, easily enable you to run them with pretty much whatever power system you want to use, whether you want to use battery RC, whether you want to use DCC, DC, pretty much all covered. And under here you can see these are some of the functions we have. We've got the lights, we've got a smoke unit, you can turn the motor on and off. You can change between track and battery power, depending on which system you want to use. And you can run it on either the NMRA or the large scale system. The locomotive comes, comes available with plenty of detail. We have the, uh, the standard cab style, and then we have the gullwing cab style for the uh, Santa Fe and the BNSF version. Uh, this is just the first in our one scale line of diesel locomotives. We are also bringing out the uh, GP40, and we have the first painted sample here. Uh, other glass to be uh, a little more protected. This is a hand-painted uh, sample. But this is uh, under development right now and should be available later on this year. Uh, we're here to show our brand new Siemens SC V42 Via Rail Charger. This is a brand new HS scale model. We uh, haven't shown this to the public before, so this is its debut. And uh, I'm going to go through some of the uh, sound and lighting features. So first of all, we have the uh, Canadian-style horn here, which is specific to this model. It's different from horns on our uh, other Charger locomotives. And then we have the uh, bell, which activates the dish lights. And one of my personal favorite uh, details about this model is we have the uh, Canadian-specific announcements, too. We have them for uh, actual train numbers for the Via Rail corridor between uh, Montreal, Quebec, and uh, Toronto. And as you hear, they're in French and in English. Au revoir. May I have your attention, please? Westbound train number 53 is now departing on track 4. All aboard. And this model is uh, currently just about finished under development. Um, we're uh, making a few minor tweaks and uh, we're expecting it to be available later this year. I'm standing here by our wall of new announcements. Some of these things you've seen in our NMRA announcements and we have first samples here. Some of these things are brand new announcements that are just being unveiled now at the show. One of the items that we have unveiled before, but uh, we haven't had a uh, sample to show, is the ALC42 and N scale. This model is going to come with all the same features that the SC44 model that just came out has. And it's uh, it's going to be a really cool locomotive. We're, we're really excited to get the painted sample and uh, hopefully see these released later in the year. Speaking of the SC44, we have samples of this here. These have just hit the shelves, so check out trainworld.com because they have this in stock. And uh, this is just, you know, we're so happy with this locomotive. We think the paint scheme turned out great, the details look fantastic. and. They've been stellar runners too. And now if we uh, move over here to HO scale, we have some brand new things that have never been seen before. We're gonna start out with our Phase 7 ALC42s. This is the latest Amtrak paint scheme. These models uh, 
were announced over the, uh, actually no, these models were just announced uh, yesterday. So this is uh, not only the first time the paint samples have been shown, but this is the first time that uh, we've uh, said anything about them at all. Uh, there's still a little bit of work that we have to do on them. Uh, we're just uh, doing some final tweaks. You know, it's a, uh, it's a really attractive paint scheme and we want to make sure everything is exactly right. And uh, we uh, were expecting to see these uh, hit the shelves probably in around the, uh, the middle of the year. And uh, also an Amtrak. This is one we did announce over the summer last year, but uh, we haven't shown any samples of yet. This is the uh, Train Sim World 2 ACS64. This model people have been begging us for for a while and we're very excited that we can actually bring it out. And uh, Dovetail Games uh, that produces Train Sim World, they were uh, incredible working with us. Um, they got us all the licenses to make sure that we could get everything on here exactly as it looked on the real locomotive. So there's no shortcuts that we've taken. We haven't left anything out. Everything here is exactly how it looked on the real model. And uh, that should be coming out probably in the later end of the year. And then uh, moving to the steam era. Pick this up, this is a little heavier here. This is our New York Central Hudson. These uh, were released in uh, N scale, uh, I believe, uh, two years ago. And uh, we actually have a second one of those which is uh, coming soon, so check, check out trainworld.com for those. Um, and these HO ones are uh, also just about ready to be uh, delivered too. They, uh, I believe, should be shipping sometime in uh, the late spring. And uh, these are really, really fantastic models. As you can see, they've got a ton of separately applied details. They have uh, metal boilers, they have functioning metal driving rods. There's some cab detail in there, which I, I don't know if I'll be able to get on the camera, but we've got cab detail in there. And uh, they come with TCS Wow Sound, which is the uh, same system that actually all of the Amtrak models I just showed you come with. It comes with a uh, capacitor on board, the uh, Keep Alive, which allows it to run smoothly even if you have dead spots or if you have dirty track. And uh, the sound is just phenomenal. It'll, it'll, it'll uh, blow you away when you hear it. And a couple of uh, rolling stock announcements. We've got the first sample of our transfer caboose in HO scale. This model is based on a uh, Missouri Pacific prototype, which is very similar to, to uh, other transfer cabooses that can be found around the country, and we've got road names to reflect a, a few samples of those, and uh, we're very excited about this model. This is uh, this uh, first sample looks really nice and detailed. We've got plenty of metal features, uh, such as the handrails on there, and uh, it'll be a great collection, uh, great collector's piece for uh, anyone who models the uh, the late caboose era from the 80s onwards. Just a few more items we can go over here. I'm not going to pick everything up because we'd be here all day if I did that. But uh, we have some new paint schemes for our uh, high cube box cars. We've got some new paint schemes for our northeastern caboose, such as uh, Western Maryland. We also have New Haven, which we don't have a sample for yet. Uh, over here, we've got some new schemes for our uh, box cars with operating end of train devices that actually have a flashing LED. Uh, two new paint schemes for our coil cars. The uh, first run of these is actually, I believe, also on the water, so again, check with Train World because they should be here pretty soon. Uh, these come, as you can see, with steel coils inside and removable hoods, so you can show them being loaded in and or unloaded on your layout. We have two new additions to our track cleaning box car range. We have the uh, impact demonstration car here from the uh, Louisville and Nashville. This car I'm going to pick up and show you because it's just so cool. We've got this etched design on the side so you can see inside. You've got the load inside there. And this car was uh, built this way in reality to uh, demonstrate the correct switching speed for freight cars. So if it, if it, if it hits the, another freight car at faster than, uh, I believe it's at four miles per hour, you'd see all the boxes inside fall over. And then back here we also have, staying in the track cleaning range, we have four new track cleaning 40 foot, uh, 40 foot gondolas. We got Union Pacific here, we have Delaware and Hudson, Penn Central, and we have a Christmas one for our uh, North Pole and Southern Railroad. And uh, again, all of our uh, track cleaning cars come with removable pads here. These pads will uh, clean the track and then if they get a little worn over time, you can easily just slide it out and put a new one in. And last but not least, we have the first samples of our N-Scale stock cars, our N-Scale animated stock cars. These actually have, uh, just like our HO and large scale examples, they have animal heads inside that'll peek through the windows as the train goes down the track. And believe it or not, even in N-Scale, we've been able to replicate three different types of animals. We've got reindeer for Christmas, we've got horses, and we've got cattle. And we think this will just be a really neat little piece to uh, add a little bit of life and uh, dimension to your model railroad. 
All right, hello, train world. Welcome to the Amherst Train Show here in West Springfield, Massachusetts. You're in the Cotto USA booth. My name is Vincent Pizarski of Sales and Marketing at Cotto. And our big announcement this, at this show is the 4884 Union Pacific Big Boy, which I'm sure most of you are excited about. This is about a 90% complete pre-production model, so there's no painting or lettering on it just yet, but most of the details are there. I'm very excited to get it out to you. Analog models will hopefully be arriving in May or June, with DCC coming in summer, and then late summer, early fall will be our sound models. It'll be equipped with the uh, soundtrack sound, I do believe. And uh, yeah, it'll be twice as powerful as a regular locomotive, just like the real thing, because we're gonna have cordless motors above each of the driving sets giving it plenty of power to pull whatever you can throw at it. So like I said, take a look at Train World and get some orders in and they'll be coming along this late spring and summer. All right, the other locomotive and big news we have is the ALC 42 from Amtrak. These are available and shipping out to retailers now and most retailers already have them in stock. So you can check out trainworld.com if you'd like to order one. But I'll give you the rundown of what is available. We have done each road number of the Phase 6 scheme. And these can all be, this little uh, vent on the side can be illuminated with our 2-211 lighting kit, which is actually pretty easy to install. And we also have the Day 1 scheme for those of you who like the vintage look for the 50th anniversary. It's also available with superliners and track and a power pack in our starter set or with superliners and locomotive in this uh, starter set in case you already have some Kato Unitrack that you're using it with. So like I said, just go to trainworld.com and check out and uh, get yourself a new Amtrak engine. And as you can tell, it's been a big year for Amtrak with the 50th anniversary just recently. We have still all of the 50th anniversary P42s in stock, although this one is starting to sell out in various places. In addition to that, we, with the Chargers, are introducing a new set of road numbers and a complete Superliner set, now with a new Liner 2 baggage car on the front. Individual Superliner coaches in new road numbers, all in Phase 6. And then, of course, individual new Liner 2 baggage cars uh, in the Phase 3 heritage. So once again, check out trainworld.com. Get yourself a ALC 42 or the venerable and reliable P42. Ken Sylvester, Broadway Limited Imports, here at the Amherst Train Show with my friend Ken. The number one salesman, <laughs> Ken Sylvester. <laughs> let's show you what we've got. All right, let's start with the RSD-15s in end scale. And these are relatively new, actually out very new. And then take a, a good look at them, and you'll see we have uh, a low hood that's longer, and then the shorter lower hood, a high hood, so there's a lot of variations in accuracy per model. Next door to the RSD-15s, we have the ES-44s in that scale. A lot of great road names. Take a look at Kenny's website and you can see all the different road names that are out there. These are just a sample of them. The next door is the big brother to the end scale, ES-44. That's the HO ES-44. And these smoke. Again, a lot of good paint schemes. And I like to look at the, the same locomotive in different scales. Let me get my big thumb out of the way. And you can see them. The, the, how similar they are, but just different sized. So our locomotives don't go real fast. All right, next off we have SD45s. You know and the, here's just a couple samples. And you can again see we have uh, on the SD45s cab number specific detail. So this is the actual detail of that cab number. So they're very, each one is kind of unique. All right, next to them, SP and S. one of my favorite locomotives, and that's the E6. Okay, they're die cast, real tall, accurately modeled, with small detail, sound, PCC, dual mode, and they're available right now. A new locomotive that that'll be out uh, the beginning of February. Is the Commodore Vanderbilt, and these are all die casts. What's very cool to them is, as you can see, the relief that's in this side here and of the sheet metal. It's, it's a, a very difficult effect to get, and we did a great job with those. 
Next to him is the, we call it the little big boy. It's the N scale big boy with sound, with skull sound, DCC. Uh, the smoke in them is just fabulous. Just fabulous. Behind those, and these will be out, also be out in February. Y6B, the Norfolk and Western. And this is the, the actual paint scheme. And you can see it's an articulated locomotive. And these other are actually fantasy paint schemes. And one thing I think we do with our fantasy schemes at Broadway is that we really capture the railroad and the locomotive, the, the framework of the, uh, the locomotive. These are uh, just a group of it's Mikados and N scale and Pacific, and they're mixed through. And there's some really cool paint schemes in them. The Milwaukee Road. Uh, in, in, at this show, people were very you know, thrilled to see it. It's the Vermont Central. I don't have my glasses. Uh, a ton of road names. Again, go to Kenny's website and see them all. And next we have the, the New York Central uh, box cars. The, the, the cigar band has always been my favorite. With that green, just very nice. The detail on them is extraordinary. And then we have the hoppers. I always like the Chessie Cat. Detail, steel metal wheels, and that's and that's the show at at this year's Amherst show, which has been wonderful. And see Kenny for all of your uh, BLI needs. Hi there, I'm Dana from Walders, and I'd like to show you some of the new models we're showing here at the Model Railroad Show. Um, first up, we have some of the production samples of our new Walders Proto ST45s. This particular run is cool because it includes an all-new high hood version um, that we're doing in the Southern, shown here, as well as Norfolk Southern. Another new Proto locomotive we have here at the show are pre-production samples of our latest run of Proto Jeep 9s. Um, here's a cool SP sample as well as a nickel plate road and then a favorite for a winter scene is a good old Jordan spreader we're doing some new roads and some new schemes including this really cool freelance shark tooth undecorated scheme so you can have jaws running around on your layout if you want and some of the other new items include some some of the cars that we've received so far from the Pennsylvania Railroad, the General Passenger Train, which was our name train from last year. And for Proto Freight, we have some of our new tank cars, new corn syrup cars, Ortner Hoppers, and for intermodal fans, some flush deck flat cars. Latest run of our well car here. And these Trinity hoppers, these should be pretty neat. Including, again, some new paint schemes as well as some, some renumbers of some favorites. For mainline, we have our latest run of Horizon passenger cars. These are all currently in stock. Some of our latest run of F40 PHs. And then over here, these were just announced. This is the latest run of our uh, 57 foot reefers. Again, including some new paint schemes. And these will be out soon in a couple months. Latest run of rail guns, both the 53 footers and the new 68 footers up here. And right above them we have some awesome Jeevo power. And these are in stock now, these just came out. And on this side we have pre-production samples of the latest run of high hood mainline Jeeps. 
um, again, including some really neat schemes. Western Maryland, DT&I, Chessie. Um, we even have some a matching caboose for the DT&I down here. And that sort of introduces our latest run of both wide vision and extended wide vision calooses. Bulkhead flaps. And another, this is a newly tooled car. This is the first time we've shown it. We just announced our new 36 foot chemical tank car. Um, this is a brand new tool, newly tooled tank, newly tooled dome and hatch detail. Another run of these two bay hoppers. As well as cylindricals. And then over here we have these two bay 100 ton open hoppers and which we didn't have before, we have a huge gravel load designed to fit into them. And these are a two pack as well. And then lastly, a new run of war cars. All right, now let's take a look at some of the latest announcements we have from Cornerstone and Seed Master. We'll start back here with our new diesel fueling facility. Um, this is a really neat kit. It includes everything you see here except the track and rails. Um, it comes in three sections and it's easily expandable. If you want to have multiple kits, you can have a really big diesel facility. We're continuing to be in the HO scale house housing business with a brand new Craftsman bungalow. It's a very common design seen in cities all across the country. Um, from Scene Master, classic farm fence. And we haven't forgotten N scale. We have a new split level house in N and an N scale full barn and shed set. With these three smaller sheds as well as a big full barn. So that's some really good kit bashing fodder for the N scalers. Um, this is kind of cool, and you see them a lot out east is the subdivided Warren Trust Bridge. This is an all new bridge for us. It comes with this road bed here you can lay your own rail if you'd like or you can buy some of our Walders bridge track for it. We've also started an all new gas station series in Cornerstone and here we have an example of the vintage gas station. It includes the main structure, the islands, the sign, as well as some of the accessories like the ice machine, tire, tire piles. It's a really neat kit. It's also available in the contemporary version that sort of has that convenience store feel as well as a drive through oil change. Um, if you already have a gas station and you need some details, we're offering a detail set as well. And then back here, for fans of heavy industry, we have an all new HO scale steel warehouse that comes with both this main warehouse building here as well as an office. And more Scene Master items for Steam Era fans. We have some Telltales. And then more for Intermoto guys. We have all new container chassis, 20 foot, 40 foot, and 53 foot lengths, as well as a new flatbed trailer. And this is an undecked sample of our all new reefer container, which has some really neat detail on it. Kind of hard to see in white, but that's going to be available in the half dozen contemporary paint schemes. A new pipe load for our bulkheads. And we're continuing to expand the chooch line with some more loads, including a scrap load and a pulpwood load. We're continuing to come out with the different scenery sheets. We still carry the, the blasted rock walls and things like that. We also have these brick and paver textured sheets in various sizes. And lastly, we have our new Walders track. Code 100, Code 83, all the pieces are currently in stock. We're continuing to expand the line with these all new, newly designed turnouts with continuous point enclosure rails, snap action points, 
a lug for powering the frog if you like. They're DCC ready. So we already have built-in jumpers, an isolated frog. So we're really happy to have all these in stock and ready to go, as well as some brand new pieces. This is this crossing set available with either a concrete crossing or a wood crossing, as well as all the pieces you need to make um, the approaches, as well as the filler piece in the middle. So you can use these for double track or single track. And um, that's basically it here at Amp. So thank you very much and happy model railroading. Hi, I'm Lee English from Bowser Manufacturing. I'm here with Ken Bianco of Train World Trainland, and I have a a couple new interesting products and uh, first what we have is another release of RS3s Western Maryland hammerheads a whole bunch of phase 2 locomotives and then we finally get to a phase 1 Reading locomotive one of the interesting things about the Jersey Central is we're also doing the 1554 that's in Scranton PA and on the Reading, we're doing number 467, which is also in Scranton, PA. And down below it, we have Erie Lackawanna's. They are the 900 series. And the 900 series has some odd louvers and wheel antennas. But just to make matters worse for myself, we're now introducing a GMD SD40-2 wide cab. Now these are going to have our latest, greatest lighting package where we're going to operate the ditch lights, class lights, step well lights, uh, walkway lights, and tracks inspection lights. So we're going to have a complete package on this baby and it's all due about, oh, December of 2024. And we have a whole lot more in production. On the table we have some of our new AS16, 616, paint samples, Sioux lines, unions, all kinds of neat stuff coming. And that's coming in uh, early March, April, about, about April 1st. And then just to make matters worse, we now have our trolley cars back in production too. And we got these over here on the side. And these are some paint samples from our factory. We have the beautiful bicentennial from the Philadelphia, and that's made in many, many different states. We have the septic cars in red, the Toronto cars. We also have Toronto septic cars, and then of course classic green, and the Kansas City car. So just, just to keep going, we have already, Ken's already looked at the RS3M chop nose by the uh, Delaware Lackawanna, that'll be in production in the summer. And then we have a little tiny project. That on the end, we still have, we have real coal loads made with Pennsylvania coal. Now they're plastic loads, so they're very light. And we top them off with real true Pennsylvania coal. And they're made for Bowser cars and Accurail cars. And other than that, we don't have anything going on. So thanks a lot, Ken. Keep the good train world going. It's always great seeing you.